Tonight is May the 30th, 2013, and I'm going to make a quick video on uh, how to adjust the, um, the balance pot on, um, on an amplifier. Now, I've, I've had this amplifier right here on some of my videos before. This is a uh, one channel built to the specs of an old Macintosh MA230 with uh, the Macintosh transformer that I built this amplifier back in uh, 1977. It has some nice high-end tubes in it. It's a very well-performing alpha. I believe this one's a Telefunken. I'm not sure about that one. I don't want to get too much into that. But um, I think it's got some Svetslana's in the uh, output, the uh, EL34s. Now, the original Mac Amplifier used uh, 7591s. But I never liked them. They're too small and hard to get and whatever. That's just my opinion. So. I've, I've used various ampl uh, output tubes in this amplifier uh, and I can adjust the bias here it has a wide range but what this is all about is not about the bias it's about the methods for adjusting the balance pot right here there's three basic methods if you have absolutely no equipment the old books suggest setting this pot right here in the middle so right there is completely counterclockwise, noting where it's pointing. That's completely clockwise, counterclock. So clockwise, or about in the middle would be right there. And what that's doing is balancing the driver stage of the, the second triode in the, here in this this 12U7, the driver stage driving the output tubes. That's what the book says. If you have no equipment, do it that way and be happy. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set it that way and then we're going to measure. We're going to run its output up to about 25 watts and measure its THD. Okay? So this top one up here, this is uh, actual power output in watts. Run this guy up to about 25 we get as close there we go 25 okay it's THC is <coughs> excuse me <coughs> 0.307 if you square this number right here this is its voltage if you square this number divide it by 8 you'll get this number okay it's 0.3 with the um, with the pot set in the middle that's not bad that's at uh, 2 kilohertz for no particular reason. That just has to be what the oscillator is running at right now. Okay, now I'm going to turn it back down. Now, the second method that they suggested for setting the balance pot was to use a signal generator and a, um, an oscilloscope and turn it up until it just started to clip and adjust for symmetrical clipping top and bottom so let's do that and then we'll run it back down to 25 watts and see uh, what it does there so now I'm going to run it up until it starts to clip now I'm going to have to increase this and then turn it way back down okay Let's see if we can get this in our, our best mode. Okay, see, we can see it starting to clip. I actually, I, I see it clipping a little bit more at the bottom than at the top right now. I think it's, this is kind of a tough one right here, actually. Let's look at it on this scope. Maybe we can see it better over here. Well, that's, that's pretty darn close right there. This is going to be a real hard one to judge. I think it's clipping a little bit more at the bottom than the top. Let's see what happens when we vary the pot. I'm just going to start twisting it. Okay, now that is more at the bottom than the top. Maybe that's more at the top than the bottom. That's a hard one to adjust, isn't it? That's kind of that's splitting hairs. 
That's to the left. Seems like the bottom is squared off a little bit and the top is round. That's to the right, all the way clockwise. Now let's make it flip a little harder. Yeah, this is really splitting hairs, isn't it? I still think it needs to flip more at the bottom than the top. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it there. That's a little bit more clockwise. Now, if we run this thing back down, well, that was up at 42 watts, too. I didn't show you that. Now, see its power up there? Power's way up at 6%. But let's run it back down to 25 watts, right where we had it a while ago, is it? Absolutely as close as we can. Oh yeah, see, look at our power now. It's 0.5. It's actually worse. Huh. Okay. Made it worse by trying to make it better. Rather than just setting it in the middle. So now, we're just going to simply tweak this thing until it actually is the lowest. So I'm going to start back counterclockwise. We got we're going to basically be watching this. Our power is going to stay the same, but we're going to be watching the 0 0.592, 0 0.57, uh, 450, 479, 450, 414, 3.23, 3.30, 0.28, 0.22, get lower, lower. Wow, that's going down there all right. 0.18, 19, 0.17. I'm just barely tweaking it a little bit at a time, and then we'll watch 0.62, 0.14, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13. Okay, now it's starting. Looks like it's starting back up. I'm still going counterclockwise. 0.12. Yeah, see, it's, it's starting to go back up now. I'm going to go clockwise again. 0.12. So it went down a little bit there, going clockwise. 0.116 and 117. See, that's about as low as it'll go, it's about right there. So that's not in the middle. That's a little bit. Uh, to the left or middle, so to speak. Yeah. That's it right there. So, uh, and, and then there's what it looks like. Of course, that's quite nice. And the distortion's uh, 25 watts at 0.1%. Uh, let's turn it up to clipping and, and see what kind of symmetry we might see there. I guess it still looks like the bottom flipped before the top. Maybe it does. You see the notch distortion start to pop in there too. Right there, right in the middle. But that's up at uh, 41 watts. The amplifier never was. The amplifier was designed for 30 watts. Well, there it is. Those are the three methods. Set it in the middle and be happy. Uh, drive it with a signal and adjust for uh, symmetrical clipping top and bottom, which didn't seem to prove too much. <clears throat> or have a, a distortion analyzer and uh, very low distortion oscillators. So there it is. Hope that helps.